haters. This video is not for kids. Go find another toilet to shit on. Domeless engines.
Oh, no, called Edward. The famous city of Truro came through this morning. He whistled to me. Wasn't it kind? He's the finest engine in the world, said Duck. And he told Edward about the city of Truro and what God had said. Don't take any notice, said Edward. He's just jealous. He thinks no engine should be famous but him. Look, he's coming now. Gordon's boiler seemed to have swollen larger than ever. He was running very fast. He swayed up and down from side to side as his wheels pounded the rails. He did it, I'll do it. He did it, I'll do it. He did it. His train was a fast. Edward chuckled and winked at Duck. Gordon's trying to do a city of Truro, he said. Duck was still cross. I should think he'll knock himself to bits, he snorted. I heard something rattle as he went through. Gordon's driver eased him off. Steady boy, he said. We aren't running a race. We are then, said Gordon, listening to himself. I've never known him ride so roughly before, remarked his driver. His father grabbed the brake handle to steady himself. He's given himself a hammer in and no mistake. Soon Gordon began to feel a little queer. The top of my boiler seems funny, he thought. It's just as if something was loose. I'd better go slower. But by then, it was too late. They met the wind on the viaduct. It wasn't just a gentle wind, nor was it a hard, steady wind. It was a teasing wind which blew suddenly in hard puffs and caught you unawares. Gordon thought it wanted to push him off the bridge. No, you don't, he said firmly. The wind had other ideas. It curled round his boiler, crept under his loose dome, and lifted off in the way into the valley below. It fell on the rocks with a pain. Gordon was most uncomfortable. He felt cold when his dome was too. Besides, people laughed at him as he passed. Trust domeless engines, said a voice. They aren't respectable. Pop goes the diesel. City of Truro's visit made Duck very proud of being Great Western. He talked endlessly about it, but he worked hard too. It made everything go like clockwork. The trucks behaved well, the coaches were ready on time. of doing things, Duck told them. The Great Western way or the wrong way. I'm Great Western and don't we know it? They groaned. They were glad when a visitor came. The visitor purred smoothly towards them. The fat controller climbed down. Yeah, that is Diesel, he said. I have agreed to give him a trial. He needs to learn. Please teach him that. Good morning, Dr. Diesel, in an oily voice. Pleased to meet you, Duck. Is that James? And Henry? And Gordon, too. I am delighted to meet such famous engines. The city engines were flattered. He has very good manners, they murmured. Oh, we are, we are pleased to have him in our yard. Duck and his ducks. He said shortly. Oh, yes, said Diesel. The yard, of course. Excuse me, the engines. And he purred after Duck talking hard. Your worthy fat 
There's a top of a hat to you. Or the duck. These are not hurt. You're worthy, so top of my hat. Things I need to learn. He is mistaken. We diesels don't need to learn. We know everything. We come to a yard and improve it. We are a revolutionary. Oh, said Duck. If you're a revel theory, perhaps you could collect my trucks while I fix Gordon's coaches. Diesel, delighted to show off, heard away. With much pain and pleasure, he collected a row of trucks. Duck left Gordon's coaches on the station and came back. Their brakes would not come off properly. These all found it hard to move. Pull, push, backwards, forward. Oh, 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 the tracks have grown. God, we're out. Duck watched the operation with interest. These all lost patience. Uh, yeah, he roared and gave a great heave. The trucks jerked forward. Oh, oh, oh they screamed. We can't. We won't. Some of their brakes broke, and the gear came down, bumped on the rails of sleepers. We can't! We won't! Ah! The training brakes caused the points and locked themselves solid. The rusty cutlet broke, and he shot forward suddenly by himself. Tuckle duck. Diesel recovered and tried to push the trucks back. But they wouldn't move, and he had to give up. Duck ran quietly round to where the other trucks all stood in line. Thank you for arranging these, Diesel, he said. I must go now. Didn't you want this lot? No, thank you. Diesel gulped. And I've, I've taken all this trouble, he almost shrieked. Why didn't you tell me? You never asked me. Besides, said Duck innocently, you were having such fun being rebel, whatever it was you said. Goodbye. Diesel had to help the workmen clear the mess. He hated it. All the trucks and coaches were laughing. Presently he heard them singing. Their song grew louder and louder. And soon it echoed through the yard. Trucks are waiting in the yard, tackling them with ease, oh, show the world what I can do, gaily boasts the diesel, in and out he creeps about, like a big black weasel, when he pulls the wrong trucks out, pop goes the diesel, and growl and scuff in the way, soft in the shape. Dirty work. I'm sorry our trucks were rude to you, Diesel, he said. Diesel was still furious. It's all your fault. You made them laugh at me, he complained. Nonsense, said Henry. Duck would never do that. We engines have our differences, but we never talk about them to trucks. That would be dis 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 Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, put in James. Despicable, finished Henry. Diesel hated Duck. He wanted him to be sent away. So he made a plan. Next day, he spoke to the trucks. I see you like jokes, he said in his oily voice. You made a good joke about me yesterday. I laughed and laughed. Aha! Duck told me one about Gordon. I'll whisper it. Don't tell Gordon I told you. And he sniggered away. 
<laughs> Guff ward the trucks. Gordon will be cross with Duck when he knows. Let's tell him and pay Duck out for bumping us. Diesel went to all the sidings. And in each he told different stories. He said Duck had told them to him. This was untrue. But the trucks didn't know. They laughed rudely at the engines as they went by. Gordon, Henry and James found out why. Disgraceful, said Gordon. Disgusting, said James. Despicable, said Henry. We cannot allow it. They consulted together. Yes, they said. He did it to us. We'll do it to him. And see how he likes it. Was tired of it. The trucks have been cheeky and troublesome. He had hard work to make them behave. He wanted a rest in the shed. engines barred his way. Stop fooling, said Duck. I'm tired. So are we, hissed the engines. We are tired of you. We like diesel. We don't like you. You tell tales about us to trucks. I don't. You do. I don't. You do. The fat controller came to stop the noise. Duck called me a galloping sausage, spluttered Gordon. Rusty red scrap iron, hissed James. I know square wheels, fumed Henry. Well, Duck? Duck considered. I only wish, sir, he said gravely, that I'd thought of those names myself. If the dome fits. <laughs> the fat controller coughed. He made trucks laugh at us, accused the engines. The fat controller recovered. Did you, Duck? Certainly not, sir. No steam engine would be as mean as that. Now, oh, Diesel, you heard what Duck said. I can't understand it, sir. To think the Duck of all engines, I'm dreadfully grieved, sir, at no nothing. I see. Diesel squirmed and hoped he didn't. I am sorry, Duck. The fat controller went on, but you must go to Edward's station for a while. I know he will be glad to see you. Beg pardon, sir, do you mean now? Yes, please. As you wish, sir. Duck trundled sadly away, while Diesel smoked with triumph in the darkness. Close shave.
Gordon, in my dreams, never spoke to him at all. It was a very close shave, he said. Oh, said the barber. Oh, excuse me. He ran into his shop, fetched a basin of water, and washed Duck's face. I'm sorry, Duck, he said. I didn't know you were being a brave engine. That's all right, sir, said Duck. I didn't know that either. You are very brave indeed, said the fat controller kindly. I'm proud of you. I shall tell City of Truro about you next time he comes. 
Oh, sir. Duck felt happier than he had been for weeks. And now, said the Fat Controller, when you are mended, you are coming home. Home, sir? Do you mean the yard? Of course. But, sir, they don't like me. They like Diesel. Not now, the Fat Controller smiled. I never believed Diesel. After you went, he told lies about Henry. So I sent him packing. The engines are sorry. I want you back. Welcome for Duck, the Great Western Engine.